New England gardening, so I have to clean up these two raised beds here. And I've got some bush peas I think I'll put in this raised bed. And I, I have some, uh, it's what they call green manure, and I never got around to using it. It's uh, select seeds that you use to, to grow um, these plants, and then you turn them under. And they provide uh, nutrients and nitrogen and compost to the soil. So I'm going to collect some of these tomatillo seeds. What I found out last year and what I saw on a number of other forums, people were talking about low yield and you really have to have more than one tomatillo plant in order to get a good yield off of them. So I'm going to collect some of these seeds. Let's see here. Little package here has a lot of seeds in there, so let's see if I can plant these and get some toma tomatilla plants. I've got a bag of tomatillo seeds here, but look, <laughs> I think tomatillos are actually a weed, so they're pretty prolific, and I think those are all tomatillo seedlings, and it looks like I've got hundreds of them. So I'll just separate some of these and plant them, and see if in fact I do have tomatillos, but uh, I think that's what those are. And I'm looking for other volunteer seedlings that have already sprouted. That's the only problem with finding volunteers is you're not sure what they are. So I might have some tomato plants here. Not sure what that is. I think these are uh, I'm not sure what these are. I think these are tomatoes. I think these might be the uh, German tomatoes. Oh, yep, there's a lot of seeds right there. Let's see, northern, they're not, I think they might be striped German tomatoes. Hmm, don't remember. Of course, there's a dandelion, they always come up. Got some volunteer cluster right there. Not sure what, the, what those are. I think I have some tomato plants in here, so. So I definitely have a lot of little tomatilla seedlings coming up here. I'll um, dig these up, put them into separate cells. I don't know, I don't, I don't need this many. But I'll look around to see if uh, there's anything other, any other recognizable seedlings, and uh, try to save them, put them in, into cells. I think I'm going to try to put this, uh, I don't know if they're still viable, I never uh, figured when I bought these, but this is like green manure. Let's see what we have here, we've got yellow field peas, reeve oats, hairy fetch, uh, other drop, uh, weed seed, 0%, inert matter. So you put this down and then you, uh, you overturn it and it adds organics into your soil. The green manure. And the other thing I've got here, uh, mustard, gold mustard. So I'll plant some of this in the raised beds too. And these can grow with or without support. So I th I'm thinking I can put these peas in, uh, shelling variety. And uh, in addition to the uh, Oregon giant that I planted. And uh, this green manure and mustard seed might help support lend some support to these peas, so I'll try that in these three beds before I put my tomatoes in. I might have tomato plants though, tomato seedlings already. They don't have the true leaves showing yet, so these look sort of like uh, tomato seedlings. So I'll dig some of these up too. That looks like a weed, but these here I think, 
think like uh, possible tomato seedlings. So I've got some volunteers coming up. Here's a, a cluster here, which sort of is a good indication that some seeds dropped right here. So I'll save these. Might be a little bit ahead of the game with some of these tomato plants. Here's what the seed looks like for the green manure. Looks like wheat seed, peas, and black peppercorns. That's what they look like. Not sure what is what here. As far as green manure goes, oats, I guess, yeah. Some oats. Hairy fetch, don't know what that is. Yellow field peas. Okay, those look like peas. So I'll be planting that along with the mustard. I don't know if you just broadcast it or on the top of the soil. mustard seed looks like. And I'll put my, my peas in on top of that, an inch deep. So I decided just to get some seed starter mix, get them in the trays, and let's uh, plant some of these seedlings and see what we get. And I got a ton of tomatillos. I'm assuming these are tomatillos. How am I gonna separate these? So I think I have plenty of tomatillo plants. Hundreds. Won't be able to use them. So I planted some more peas. Uh, put down some bags of green manure. Don't know if they're still viable. I think the bags are a couple of years old. But we'll see. And uh, just on their own, I guess, they add organic material. And uh, once the peas are harvested, and if any of these uh, green manure plants come up, I'll just turn everything over and add organic material and go on to the next planting, maybe tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, or peppers, cantaloupes. We'll see. And I rescued some volunteers, whether they're weeds or in fact, tomatoes, uh, I'm pretty sure that I do have the tomatillos. And we'll see if these survive the quick transplant. I'll get them into the shade. I've watered them in already. Here's some more of the tomatillos. I got more than I know what to do with. I'll pick the strongest ones out of that bunch. 
In these three beds, I've got the Oregon giant snow peas, which were unbelievable last year. So looking forward to those. And one last note, I have some asparagus coming up. So I planted another case where I planted, I think, two varieties here. And I don't know what's what. One mistake was that I put the bird feeder right here. And I know squirrels, if there's anything irritating them in the way of getting their seed, they're just going to nip it off with their teeth. And I think, or it's either because uh, it's another variety, maybe it doesn't come up yet. Maybe that's why there's no sign of asparagus on this side of the bed here. It's just these here. But you don't get to harvest them the first year, so I just get to look at them. So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.